Welcome back to 88.8 success Radio Scuola Station. Hello grade 3 learners and to all listeners out there. A good afternoon ahead. This is your teacher in Science 3, Jennifer and Makai, guiding you in learning our lesson and topics for today. Before we start, I want you all to stand for a while and do some movements. Are you ready? All right. Do the movements as I say, one, two, three, ready. Walk in a straight path or in a linear motion. Walk, walk, walk. Then turn around. How about walking in zigzag motion? Now, jump up and down. Three times. One, two, three. And walk backwards. One, two, three. Then walk forward. One, two, three. There you go. Good job, kids. Were you able to do all the movements? That's great. Now, go back to your sitting posi position and make sure that you are in a comfortable place okay let's go back to the movements that you just have performed earlier those are the movements that we have learned from our previous lesson in science 3 right now let's recall the different movements let's see if you can still remember them the different mo movements are linear motion, circular motion, zigzag motion, up and down path, and back and forth path. Very good children, we can now move to our next lesson. Now, get ready your pencil and learning activity sheet. Today, our lesson is about the different movements of objects in different paths. We are going to describe, describe the movements of a person or objects. So, listen attentively and understand the information that I am going to discuss. Now, Look at your activity sheet as we go along with our lesson. Take a look at the illustrated pinwheel. Examine the movement of the motion path. How is the pinwheel moving? That's right. The pinwheel is moving in a circular path or motion. How about the school bus? Yes. It moves in a zigzag path. What is the movement of the railway going south? As you can see, it follows a straight, straight path. Have you experienced playing a seesaw? How does it move? Observe the arrows in the illustration where it is pointing at. That's right. The seesaw moves up and down. How about when your mother irons your clothes? The iron moves forward and backward when you are pressing the clothes. Good job! Those are some examples of objects moving in different paths. Okay, so... Now, let's move on to activity 1 in your uh, activity sheet. So, let us read the direction. Read and analyze each situation. And then, encircle the correct answer in, inside the parentheses. Get ready, kids. Number 1. A lightning moves in a blank motion. Choices are... Circular or zigzag. Number two. You do an blank motion when you use the stairs. 
back and forth, or up and down. Number three, you turn on the electric fan. The spinning blade is an example of blank motion. Is it circular motion or up and down? Number four. Okay, for number four, a monkey swinging back and forth or a monkey swinging backward and forward is a blank motion, back and forth or linear. Number five, jumps run or jumps runs straight forward back home. He is following a blank path. So, choices are linear or up and down. Can you follow, children? Are you done answering? Very good. Now, let's check your answers. Please don't change your answers, okay? So, always remember to be honest. So, for number one, the answer is zigzag. For number two, the answer is up and down. Good job. Number three, circular motion. Number four, back and forth. Number five, linear. Have you got a perfect score? Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. To those who got below five, it's still all right. Let's get higher score for the next activity, okay? So now, let's go to activity number two. But before that, raise your two hands up high and shake it. Ready? Shake your hands. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Now, let's read the direction. Draw the path of motion present in each situation. Choose your answer from the box below. Draw your answer in the box provided. So for number one, let me read. The soldiers are marching forward on the field. They are heading a straight path. What motion is it? Number two. I love playing a spinning top together with my friends. What path of motion is present in the spinning top? Number three. The train is moving straight forward. What path of motion is evident? Number four. Car felt tired after pushing forward and backward his little sister's stroller at the park. What path of motion is done? Number five. The jeepney moves in a road with a sharp angles. What path of motion is it? Are you done? Great. So, I will just check your answers when I got your activity sheet. So, this time, for activity number three, we will check your understanding or what you have learned in our lesson. So, listen carefully and follow the direction. The direction is, choose the missing word from the box to complete the sentence. Write the letter of your answer on the line before the number. For number one, a linear motion goes in blank path. For number two, a circular motion is blank path. For number three, blank motion means you are moving forward and backward. For number four, a blank path is a crook path. And for number five, an upward and downward movement is blank motion. Okay, I hope you are done. And here are the answers. Number one is letter C. 
Number 2, letter B. Number 3, letter A. Number 4, letter E. And number 5 is letter D. Alright, how many points did you get? Congratulations to those who got 5 scores and applause to everyone. You did a great job. So now kids, let's recall the different movements of objects in different paths. What are those again? The different movements of objects in a different path are straight, circular, zigzag, back and forth, and up and down. Very good. I hope that you will always remember what we have learned today. Okay, so now the remaining activities will be your assignment. You may seek help from your parents or guardians at home. So keep your activity sheet and make sure that it will be submitted in school on the scheduled day. So once again, this is your Science 3 teacher, Jennifer and Makai. Thank you and God bless to all.